हेलो एंड वेलकम टू दी फिफ्थ लेक्चर ऑफ स्ट्रेंथ ऑफ मटेरियल कोर्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक व्हिच इज नॉर्मली ए कंफ्यूजन फॉर द स्टूडेंट्स दैट व्हाट इज अ स्टेटिकली इनडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर सो इन दिस लेक्चर आई विल ट्राई टू एक्सप्लेन द स्टेटिकली डिटर्मिनेट एंड स्टेटिकली इनडिटर्मिनेट स्ट्रक्चर यूजिंग वेरी बेसिक एग्जाम्पल्स so before we understand the statically indeterminate structure let's try to understand that which structure is statically determinate so basically whenever we are able to apply the law of statics and to get all the unknowns value system comes under the category of statically determinate structure for example if i am having a bar and i am interested to find forces in these two members suppose this is a b and c and i am interested to find forces in bc part as well as ab part so normally what we do when we solve the general static problems we first make the free body diagram and after making the free body diagram we calculate the unknown values if our laws are sufficient to get all the unknown that the system is statically determinate for example if i will see here i can make the free body diagram of two section for this section there will be 100 newton force here so again here will be 100 newton force and if this 100 newton force will come here also and additional 60 newton force will be here so ultimately the subtraction of these two will give a new force of 40 newton in this direction so here i will get a new force of 14 newton in this direction i have already discussed this philosophy in my previous lecture so i am not going to discuss that how this 100 will come here and then 60 and then 40 if you are interested you can see my previous lecture so ultimately now after making the free body diagram i am able to get the forces in each member similarly if i will see another problem here so let's see i am having a problem uh this is one problem here and i am interested to find the forces at the reaction point so this is my problem and uh, this is a bar a rigid bar let's and i am applying two forces of value 10 newton and 20 newton at these two points there is a string connected to this point and the string is having an angle 45 degree from its support there is a pin joint here and i am interested to find the reaction at the pin joint so first i should see that what would be my free body diagram of this bar if i will make the free body diagram of this bar i will see that because of the pin joint there will be two reactions so let the two reaction be it's a pin joint so there will not be any movement so let this is r1 and r2 there are two known forces and third unknown will be the tension which will be the because of the string so if i will see this diagram there are three unknowns and as i know that if i will apply the law of statics i can just do the horizontal force balance then it will be zero or vertical force there will be zero or i can use the moment equation but the maximum unknown which i can get by using these three equations are three unknowns if i will carefully see here there are only three unknowns that means this structure is statically determinate structure similarly if i will see a third problem here let's i am having a cantilever beam and i am interested uh, this is my cantilever beam and i am interested to find the forces at the reaction uh, support so this is my fixed joint so i know that in case of a fixed joint if i am making the free body diagram of this bar there will be three forces one movement two reaction and the, un, the this is the known force which is having certain angle theta so if i will apply the horizontal force balance i will get this rh will be minus 10 cos theta rv will be Uh, plus 10 uh, plus uh, 10 sin theta and if i will check the moment so if i can take the moment at this point that will be the this there are two component of this force so this is basically 10 uh, sin theta and this is 10 cos theta so if i will take the moment at this point this 10 sin theta multiplied by this distance 4 so my moment will comes out minus 10 sin theta into 4 this minus sign basically indicating that the direction of the force which i have assumed is wrong the actual direction will be opposite to the direction which i am showing in this figure so 
same here that if I will see I can get the all the unknown value using the law of static that means this is also a case of statically determinate structure. Now let's move further and see that what happens if I am going to add one support here. The same problem 10 kN force with an angle theta but instead of having only a fixed joint I am going to support the beam at this point which is a distance 2 meter from the fixed end and the total length is 4 meter. Now, if I am going to apply the statics, law of statics, before that I can make the free body diagram. If I will make the free body diagram as I am re removing the, as I am re removing this fixed joint, there will be three forces, two forces and one movement, as well as there will be a fourth unknown force because of this support. So if I will carefully check, now there are four unknowns. And if there are four unknowns and I am having only three is law of statics which is horizontal force balance, vertical force balance as well as the moment, I will not be able to get the four unknown values. That means this is a structure which cannot be solved use only using the law of statics. That means this is a structure which can call as the statically indeterminate structure. Now let's see further that if Uh, I here I here now here I am going to define the statically indeterminate structure. So by definition we can say that any structure which cannot be in for that which can uh, we cannot get all the unknowns using the only law of statics we need more equations that the structure is statically indeterminate. Uh, here I am showing few examples to reinforce the concept. So my first example is there is a cantilevered beam with a only point force that means there will be only three unknowns because of the fixed joint when I will make the free body diagram there will be only three unknowns so st this is statically determinate. The second case as I already said that when I will make the free body diagram three forces here one force here means there is a one additional unknown so we call this is the statically indeterminate and the degree of indeterminacy is one here one unknown which cannot be get because the total unknown will be four and we can get three unknowns by using the law of statics one unknown will remain so the order of indeterminacy in this case will be one if I will see this problem here I, instead of having a contact only I am having a pin joint here so when I am going to remove the pin joint there will be two forces because of the Remo uh, removal of the pin joint in addition to that there will be three forces because of the fixed joint and one known force is there so in this case if I will check there are five unknowns and if I am going to solve the using the law of statics I will get only three unknowns so there will be two unknown will remain finally that means the degree of indeterminacy here or order or degree whatever is the two similarly if my problem becomes two fixed end that means three unknowns here and three unknowns on the other end so there will be total six unknowns and I can get only three unknown value that means my uh, remaining unknowns will be three so the degree of indeterminacy here will be three so I believe that now you have a basic understanding that which structure should consider as determinate and which structure structure will be an uh, a statically indeterminate structure. Let's see one problem which is generally we solve when we uh, do the st uh, strength of material problem. So here I am showing two cases again. In one case there is a bar fixed at the top and the length of the bar is L cross section suppose A and I am applying a force P at a distance X from the fixed end and other end is a free end and I am interested to find the change in length in the bar. So if I will make the free body diagram and I will see carefully this is a statically determinate problem. So this is a determinate problem. But when I will see this problem where we are having two fixed support and here also I am applying the same force. The length of the bar is again L and I am applying a force at a distance X from the top fixed end. Whether this problem is we whether we are able to get the forces at these two supports suppose the reaction at this is R2 and reaction here is R1. So now if I am going to make the free body diagram here I will say that this is my reaction R1 here so there will be another reaction R1 this is R1 so this will be again R1 one force P is also coming here so if I will see this is my R2 so basically R2 will be what P plus R1. Ultimately I will see here actually I am not making the right uh, uh, 
uh, arrow here actually this this force will be upward but it doesn't matter because when we are taking an unknown value you can take any sign your answer will tell you if the answer is positive it is correct if your answer is negative it is wrong we see such problems when we solve mechanics but here i am not going to explain that but you can understand here that now in my final equation if i know the p value there are two unknown r1 and r2 so using the this single equation i will not be able to get the two unknown value that means i need more equations and the problem comes under the category of statically indeterminate problem now if i i am going to solve this problem what i need to do so if your problem comes under the category of statically indeterminate you need additional equations to solve the problem and particularly when we talk about the strength of material course normally uh, we take a condition where the level of indeterminacy or degree of indeterminacy is low when civil engineers solve the problem they take very higher order problem and the different for solving those problems are different but in case of a strength of material simple problem what we need we need additional equation that basically comes from the deformation equation deformation equation means if i will apply the elastic constant will be stressed by strain or if i will solve the problem considering the strain in the body uh, in addition to the equations available from the free body diagram this would be my additional equation which will help me to get the remaining unknowns so let's try to solve the same problem again i am having a bar which is of length l and i am applying a force x here at a distance x from the top end and i am interested to find the reaction at both the ends so that i can get the total change in length of the body so now i am up let's put this is my r1 and the second one here also i am putting that this is my r2 if i will make the free body diagram of the top part which is i am showing here that this is r1 and r1 the, as it is r1 there will be a one upward r1 and downward p so net reaction at this point will be p minus r1 uh, please note that here i am not going to explain how we have reached to p minus r1 if you are interested you can see my previous video but basically we will get this p minus r1 here here i am assuming r2 which is going to be balanced by p minus r1 so finally i am having an equation where p is going to be balanced by r1 plus r2 so this is my equation 1 but there are two unknown so i cannot get the two unknown values now i am interested to see the deformation equation so when i will see here i know that there will be certain deformation in the top portion as well as in the bottom portion if i will visualize i can understand that the top portion length will going to increase at the same time the length of the bottom portion will get decrease Uh, that means there is a compression in the bottom part and there is a, there is extension in the top side but i can say that the whatever length increase of the top portion the same length will be decrease for the bottom portion that means the change in length of the top and bottom side will be same so this is my additional equation which i uh, derived from using the deformation condition so this is my equation 2 and i can write this second equation by taking the simple i know that the change in length of the body can be solved by uh, using the pl by ae and this comes because i know that that e is equal to stress by strain the stress will be p by a and strain is change in length by the uh, length when i will rearrange this term i will get this equation so if i will put del l1 that will be r1 x ae and because this is for this portion it is r1 and for the second portion i am assuming it's r2 so r2 l minus x by a so now i have two equations and two unknowns which i can get using these two equations so in that this way we can solve a problem which is statically indeterminate in future we will solve many problems which are basically talks about the composite bar for example if there are two bars connected together and fixed between the two plates and we are applying certain force here the material of the two bar is different and what would be the final condition or we will solve a problem where we are having a tube inside the tube we are having a bolt and the bolt there is a nut portion here and we are this is the bolt head and here is nut will come so when i will tight the nut there will be compression in the tube and there is extension in the you know, the bolt so similar problem we are going to solve in uh, in future but at this stage i am just closing the session by again 
explaining that when you are talking about the statically determinate problem law of statics are sufficient to get the unknowns on the other end if the problem comes under the category of statically indeterminate uh, era, uh, reg regime that means we need additional equation particularly for this course we use the deformation equation as an additional equation thank you